All of my life, I've had difficulty achieving orgasm. It's a secret epidemic that 43% of American women experience sexual dysfunction. 40 million women in the United States alone may be affected by female sexual dysfunction. Female sexual dysfunction probably runs 83%. This is a very new field of medicine, but there's a good chance the problem can be tackled. Vivas wanted me to put together an erotic video for use during the testing of their new drug. Now you'll be going to the sensory testing room where the physician will monitor blood flow to the genitals. Little did I know that I would spend nine years documenting the medical industry's attempt to change our understanding of the meaning of health, illness, desire, and orgasm. The market out there is large. People would buy it. We're on a race to see who can be first to market. Your total today is 1500 We take cash, check, or charge. There's a lot of money to be made telling healthy people they're sick. It's not a disease. Is a drug going to help them? Maybe if it has a map of the clitoris on the box. Health costs are already exploding. Drug companies have been involved in redefining and designing conditions. I see today as a perilous moment in the history of women's sexuality. So when the FDA said yes, yes, it started a gold rush as inventors searched for cures. We're going to call the device the orgasmatron. The electrode is threaded up the spinal cord. And then by adjusting the electrical parameters, you will have an orgasm. Ooh. Oh, that's too strong. You use the laser to make an incision. You're able to push the bladder back up to where normally, in a young person, it would be making it tighter. My doctor said that I lost about a third of my blood volume. There was a possibility of me dying. Sex it was heady days, though. I mean, you watch the stock price go up every day. We didn't even know what the disease was. How did female sexual dysfunction come to be as a disease? We don't know. Give me enough time to find a new job before you air this. <laughs>